Hey, what is up everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. Okay, so we got a report back from Gagina and it stated almost there. And it begins with stage four, which is the arbitrary kernel read write. And then down at the bottom here, we can see that the restricted kernel read-write as well as the arbitrary kernel read-write has been achieved and that the fixes were applied and that stage four is completed. Now, if you go back and maybe you are one of those that is using BDJB with PS4 12.02 in this example, this is one of my videos, and in that video, I paused it at a place where you could see the stage four arbitrary read-write. And while in this instance, it did fail in a successful attempt, you can see that at least on the PlayStation 4, there was a stage five, which was PS4 post-exploitation, where there was a few more things happening down in here before we were able to do things like in this instance, which would be running gold in on it. Now, the official repo has definitely had quite a bit of movement on it. Again, if we jump over here into the commits, we can see that we just covered the updates from November the 1st and November the 2nd in our last video, but since then, there has been a bit more of cleanup that's been happening a bit of reorganizing the code, and then just fixing some of the screen logging up here at the top. Now, there currently isn't the 1.2 release. Now, I do wanna get one thing pretty clear here, and that is that even if Y2JB 1.2 is released, and let's just go ahead and say that they have released this part of it as well, we really only have a jailbreak on PlayStation 5 up to 9.60. Now, while this is going to support some of those later firmwares, there isn't anything that we're going to get instantly that's going to get us past 9.60 because obviously we don't have stuff like case stuff ready for some of those later firmwares. Now, in my last video, I did call out that you could come over here into the releases and get started. And a couple people asked me if I had a tutorial on that. And obviously I do. Now, when the 1.2 version comes out, I'll obviously make a brand new tutorial on that. But if you do want to get started, just go ahead and watch this one. So next up is an update to the story that I covered regarding the flow and a new exploit that works up to PlayStation 4 13.00 and PS5 12.00. And the update here is, is that the name of the jailbreak is going to be Poopsploit. That is all that I have to update you on here today. <laughs> so yeah, you absolutely uh, can't use this at the current moment, but again, I do want you to keep in mind that this is something that we do have in our back pocket. Let's go ahead and talk about a new update that we got from Idle Sauce for the PS5 self decryptor. Now, I stated here that it fixes an issue with some games and added support for PS5 8.00 to 10.01. Now, before we jump over to the GitHub here, there was a post over here from Speed007 which said, PS5 self decryptor, big thanks to Idle Sauce and that the new decryptor fixed a few games. So games such as Tekken 8, Evil West, Skyrim, and Mortal Kombat 1, and that the new decryptor will fix a few games that use the Unreal Engine. So if you do have some games that use the Unreal Engine, you should absolutely give this a shot. Again, not everything is fixed in this, and then there are even some down here at the bottom that currently isn't working such as Astrobot, Spider-Man, Elden Ring, and God of War. Now, if we look over at the release here, again, as I said, it added support for PS5 8.00 to 10.01, fixed a couple of different issues in here, changed a bit of where it dumps to, and then added some predefined builds 
for dumping the current games and all system files. And there is some information that is included about the number of files failed and skipped at the end. Now, it didn't take very long before Echo Stretch, who has been working on his PS5 app dumper, released a brand new version, which was version 1.03. And there was some good news and bad news. The bad news being you will need to redump any broken games. And the good news is that the decryptor has been fixed and can now make a few previously broken games work once they're redumped. Now again, big thanks here to Idle Sauce for fixing the decryptor. And if we go ahead and look at the release notes here, we can see that there was a couple of mentions in here for those fixes, but they also added a config.any support and added an option in the config.any support in case you want to disable the decryptor. There's also an option in there if you want to disable logging and a few more quality of life improvements. Now again, if you do wanna go ahead and get started with this, then you can just download this dumper and then you can just open up something such as Netcat GUI and send that payload over to your PlayStation 5. Next up, there's been a couple of different updates regarding the Netflix in hack since I covered it just a few days ago. If we go over here into the commits, we can see that there has been yet another commit just 48 minutes ago where they have been merging some pull requests that have been placed. And if we come back into the project here, this is basically a way that you can use Netflix and it will inject custom JavaScript into the Netflix PS5 error screen by intercepting the Netflix request to localhost. Now, this does work on PS5 firmware versions 4.03 to 12.x, and you would need to get a copy of the Netflix application from over here on Prospero Patches. There is a bit of requirements and installation for this. You do need Python, and you will need to install MITM proxy. Now, there was a video that Brutal Sam had released on his X account, and you should absolutely follow it. And you can see just right over here, he has got the terminal open and is currently running the MITM proxy. There is Netflix, and if we run this video, we can see that the application is starting over here. And there it goes, Netflix in hack. So at this point, you can see it says injecting the JavaScript for inject.js, and that is the full sample. Again, all credits goes to Brutal Sim for making that video. Next up, there was another project that I saw that forked the original Netflix in hack application. And while there really wasn't any changes to the readme, there was definitely some changes to the code. And we saw a video that came out of somebody running this. And so there you go. You just get a simple Netflix and hack. But at least that is a way that if you wanted to explore this, you could learn how they did it. Next up, there was a project that I saw that was called ETA Hen PKG Loader. So it says that this is a web-based package installer for the PlayStation 5 using ETA Hen DPI or Direct Package Installer V2 by Lightning Mods. So right here it is. You can take a look at this if you are interested in working with it. It has a number of different features as well as a few prerequisites in order to get this up and started. Then the last few things that I will leave you with here today is, is that I made this tweet about this game called Arcade Spirits, and a few people was wondering why I did. This was obviously one of those titles that Gajina had mentioned on Discord that he was testing with and that I thought it might be a good idea to buy it. So I saw other people that was asking about it and I really just made this tweet just to make sure that everybody knew not to buy the NTSC version. Now there is a Discord message where Gagina was telling everybody to not buy this. So if I were you and I were on the fence, I probably wouldn't get it. And then finally, there was an update over here from Lightning Mods and what he stated was, 
better game decryption for firmware's 3.00 plus using the dumper utility and a new custom background PKG installer are now available for testing in the PKG zone discord. No need for the local custom path. You can now choose your own. And so there was a video that was shared here and you can see there is the custom PKG installer and they have made their own path there. And right there is the PKGs. So yet another improvement coming to ETA Hen. Okay, so I believe that is going to do it for this one. Thank you so very much for watching and don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below. I'll talk to you on the next one. Michael out.